Mr. Gates. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I guess, with, with all respect, I don't understand how this would slow anything down. The only substantive objection to Mr. Banks' amendment is that some process would not be able to uh, proceed at, at due pace, but the documents that the bank's amendment identifies are documents that are already in the possession of the inspector general. So it wouldn't slow the contracting process down. None of the contracting entities would have well, a Will basis. the gentleman yield for Yes, yeah, certainly. So, I, yeah, I, I'll, I'll answer that question. The dominant aspect of the JEDI contract, well, was really two things. One was we wanted to get into the cloud. We wanted to move forward with technology um, and a lot of competition involved. The second aspect of it was politics infused it from the very start in, in, in a thousand different ways and, and on all sides, okay? You know, Oracle had its interest. Believe me, I argued with Amazon about this because Amazon was all, we gotta do it, we gotta do it, we gotta do it. We gotta, and then they lost the contract, like, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't have to do it now, okay? We turn these documents over and everybody does their little examination of every email and all that. How it slows it down is that politics, you just throw gasoline on the fire again. And the final point, final point, sorry, and I, I will give you more, more time if necessary. Final point is that there isn't any particular mystery as to what happened here, okay? You can argue which side of it was more influential, which, whether it was Oracle or Amazon or Trump or Mattis or who you think was wrong, but there's no mystery to be revealed here. Politics came in because it was a $10 billion contract and everybody wanted that money. Okay, so we can pull it back open again and have all those people go back at each other and restart the food fight, or we can move forward and actually get moving on the cloud. That's my argument. I appreciate the, the chairman's argument. I, I appreciate the gentleman from Washington making it the pro Amazon argument. Uh, I, I too. Uh, I'm sorry, will the gentleman yield? Did you not hear what I just said? Well, I, I, it's hardly I, a pro Amazon my argument. I, I control the time, you Mr. Do. Chairman, I, and I, I graciously yielded to you. I, I would simply add that. The initial objection to the bank's amendment that you made was that it was going to slow down the contracting process. Now that your argument appears to have pivoted to saying, well, when things are involved in politics, they are inherently, you know, soaked in gasoline. Well, there is an entire industry uh, on K Street built around the politics of these contracts. It is what we're going to legislate our way through for a good part of the day. So I don't think merely saying something is political and so we shouldn't review Inspector General's documents is all that sound. If we were trying to get into technical documents, trade secret documents, the chairman would be right. That process could then slow the administration of additional contracts, but we also have to be reminded of why we have Inspector General reports in the first place, and it's to inform on future decision making. And so it would seem to be a waste of the effort of the IG to conduct this review, to expose potential corruption, and then for us to not have that in, inform our, our future decision making. I appreciate the chairman's indulgence, and I yield back. I'll just make Two quick points on that. First of all, the, the mere fact that you take the Amazon shot sort of makes my point. That's what's going to happen, okay? I'm trying to make... I believe you were taking the it, Amazon position, it, not me. It, well, well, no, you, you were claiming that I was taking a position based on the fact that I'm... I'm sorry, it's my time now. <laughs> um, and you were basically making the point that I'm taking the position I'm taking because I'm from Seattle, which I'm not, by the way. I'm from Bellevue. Uh, but that, 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 that was... Oh, if you don't think there's a difference, then you haven't been to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, but at any rate, um, you were clearly, unequivocally, making the political argument that my argument must have less validity to it because I'm close to where Amazon is, okay? And that is exactly what happened over and over and over again as we tried to actually just move forward with the contract. I will point out, I never supported Amazon in this. In fact, I didn't support them like suing. Once the contract was awarded, yes, it was awarded to Microsoft, which also happens to be in my neighborhood. Um, so they were competing with each other. But my point is, I don't care who gets the contract. I want to move forward with it, okay? And so if we do this, we will slow the process down. I 100% guarantee you of that. And there's always a balance. I'll grant you that. You know, you got to do the oversight. You know, we have protests for contracts, and those protests have a purpose. You want to make sure that DOD followed the rules. And if they didn't follow the rules, you want to catch them. On the other hand, I think every member here has experienced contracts. You know, I've got a small glove manufacturer in my company that's been tied up in a protest over a contract they had thought they had won for a year, where they literally have to lay off people because they're waiting for it. So it's a balance. 
and, and my opinion, and, and the reason I oppose the amendment, is I think we have examined this enough, and it's time to actually move, move forward with awarding the contract, and this will open it back up. So, but, you know, members can vote how they wish to vote. Is there further discussion? <laughs>